Well, he just before midnight on the eve of July 4th, Cleveland police had several high priority calls waiting, but somehow missing jewelry from the home of an off duty Cleveland cop got priority that night. Tonight, for the first time, we hear the police radio traffic leading up to the shooting. Justice for Dan signs adorn Dan Ficker's Parma home today. Five weeks ago, with high priority police calls waiting, a Cleveland police officer asked the dispatcher for Ficker's address in Parma. I give you a last name and a street. Do you think you can come up with something? I'll try. The Cleveland police officer did ask for permission to go to Ficker's house that night, despite the dispatcher needing help with several high priority calls still waiting. I'm get a box is okay to go to 6168 Wareham in Parma to uh, get some further info for this. Authorities say on duty Cleveland police officer Matthew Kraska and off duty officer David Mendek, who believed Ficker took jewelry from his house during a party that night, wait for Ficker to show up at Ficker's Parma home around midnight, where Ficker was living with his fiancee Tiffany and their two young children. Officer Kraska confronted Ficker. Kraska shot Ficker, who police claim was combative. And just before dying, Ficker can be heard telling his fiancee he loves her. <laughs> Because the officers drove out of Cleveland, the dispatcher and other officers are trying to figure out exactly where this shooting happened. Where are you at? Where are you? Uh, where are you at? Parma. Cleveland police never notified Parma police they were in the city of Parma until after the shooting. I copy. I'm going to notify Parma. If anyone knows where that's at. So many Cleveland police officers responded to the shooting in Parma. A Cleveland dispatcher tells officers she has no one to handle high priority calls that were waiting since before the shooting. Any other cars heading to Parma, slow it down. All cars, slow it down. Okay, any cars that are not assisting in Parma, I have three code ones if anyone can help me out. Daniel Ficker's mom told me today she finds it hard to believe that just after midnight on a busy 4th of July weekend that an investigation into missing jewelry couldn't wait. Cleveland police are waiting for Parma police to complete their investigation before looking into what happened that night. The medical examiner has not completed the autopsy report. In the newsroom tonight, Paul Kiska, News Channel 5.